Hey guys, welcome back. I am doing a prop haul today. I had some gaps in my prop collection that was, you know, limiting my brand photography and my food photography uh, that I could do at home alone during lockdown. So I really needed a few items to round up my collection, especially with new product lines dropping. So I got a bunch of stuff from three or four different companies, mostly centered around food styling, food photography, and lifestyle photography that I can do in my uh, small space and try to make shots look different. So I really wanted some contrast. But I got a bunch of stuff, so let's just jump into it. So let's start with Simon's, which was the biggest order that I placed. And there were a few things that broke during shipping, but the things that didn't break and actually arrived to me in one piece, I'm really excited about. So I got a bunch of mugs, uh, maybe too many mugs, but our water enhancers work great in hot water, so that's an application that I want to take more photos of. But whenever I do any styled like breakfast shots, especially with our new oatmeal line, I like to have coffee or tea, so I want you know an aesthetically pleasing mug to do that. That's on the smaller side, so it photographs nicer, but doesn't you know take up all of your attention. So this is the first little one that I got. It has a bunch of little leaves on it um, in a muted green and like a sage green color. And what's really great about this is that it has a color brand. It's that same like muted green tone so if you do a lot of flat lays you probably notice this like when you have a mug like this where it's just like a plain white rim you know it just looks boring you lose all that detail so I try to find some mugs that have a colored rim uh, just to give some variety to my flat lays in the exact same um, mug but a different pattern I got this one which is certainly busier than I would normally go for but it's really pretty so I feel like I would use this Less so trying to sell product um, in those shots where I'm having my water enhancers pouring in because it's so busy. And I'll probably use this more so uh, from a lifestyle photography perspective um, of myself because I can't have any models to shoot with in my space. But this will still work great for lifestyle breakfast shots uh, or lifestyle, just less so on the product side. But I just had to because it's so cute. The last mug that I got from Simon's, it is this one. It's like an off-white with black speckles. And it's, I don't know what you would call this, um, if it's like, it's kind of ribbed. Uh, if you think of like that texture that you normally see in shirts, where it just like goes in and out. And I'm not a big fan of it. And it's a lot bigger than I thought. You know, it's the perfect size for my cup of coffee, but especially for food photography, you want things on the smaller side. Um, so I don't think I'll actually be able to use this for much, but it is pretty and I'll probably just use it generally for myself. Next, we'll move on to the bowls. I have obviously an oatmeal line and I needed a lot more interesting and contrasting bowls to shoot in. I feel like everything I have is like white or off white. Um, so is this one. But it has like a nice like black speckle um, in it and it's technically a ramekin, but when it comes to shooting oatmeal, it's hard in and of itself because uh, the texture doesn't photograph that well, but also on the serving size side of things, um, you don't want to have a giant bowl because there would be like 10 servings in it. So actually a little bowl like this fits really well. So I was really trying to find bowls that are on the smaller side when it comes to everyday use, but they will photograph properly for the oatmeal collection. So this is one that I got. Um, and then the other one that I got is this, which I really love. Um, it is natural stone on the outside and I like a matte black on the inside and it did get damaged a little bit during shipping but it's so minor, I'm not going to go through the trouble of returning it. Uh, now that I'm seeing it, I've just been trying to play around with how I'm going to shoot it because obviously I could do it for like a flat lay and I think it would photograph really nicely uh, and give a nice amount of contrast. But I would, like if you're doing like a 45, I'm a little worried about this angle um, and how like this really pretty silhouette will actually show up. So I'm going to play around with it. But just in terms of the aesthetics, right away I'm a big fan. It's pretty shallow and wider, so we'll see what I can do with it. But it's definitely different and I'm trying to add darker colors and more contrast into my shots versus everything being light and neutral. So the last little bit of dishes that I got from Simon's was this little set of pinch bowls, which is obviously if you do food photography, if you shoot recipes, you see pinch bowls all the time to show off all the ingredients. And I got this set of six, although I can only use four of them, which always happens with sets. Like this one is like a lavender and just doesn't work for my brand at all. Same with this one, it's kind of like a baby blue. That wouldn't work. I can use them, you know, personally, I'll find a use for them. But these four, 
are super pretty. They will work great for the brand. They are, there's only one that's a cream because I have a lot of white pinch bowls. The rest are different colors. So it'll add a lot of variety, but they're not so bright where it would really take focus away. So it's mostly in like the blush and coral and then a really like muted blue gray color. So I'm excited to start using those because like I said, everything I have right now for pinch bowls is white uh, and it gets very boring very quickly. So let's move on to linens. I got a few and unfortunately this is, you know, for two of the three, it's my fault. You know, they're just not really what I pictured and the last one really isn't what was pictured on the website at all. Uh, so unfortunately, I don't think I can really use any of these um, and I'll probably return them. This one I would say is the most usable. I'll see what I can do, but it's a lot cooler toned than I thought it was gonna be, but it is really nice and thin. And I would say for linens, especially for recipes um, or just shooting general brand photography, you wanna go on the thinner side. They just flow through the shot a lot nicer. Um, so this one, I'll see what I can do. I'll probably try it. Um, just to see if I can make it work before I return it. But I do really like the feel of it. This next one was only like $1.99. Um, so I cannot complain at all. It's just a lot thicker than I had expected, which is great for its intended purpose, which is obviously a tea towel, but not as great for uh, what I would like to do with it. And just has a nice white and gray pattern with like a white uh, cross stitching. So very, very pretty, just not quite what I had in mind and very stiff. And this is the last one, which will look like a cream colored online, um, but it's actually more of like a light gray and it just won't work at all. So this one I'm definitely returning. Um, and you can even see, even without like the light that I'm using right now, it has a little bit of a sheen to it and it didn't look that way online. So in no world is this going to work for any photos that I could take. So I'm gonna return this one. Um, but if it had been what I thought it was gonna be, it would have worked great. So I'm still looking for uh, more linens in my collection because I don't know why it feels like that's the hardest thing that I can find um, and every time I think I found one it's never quite what I wanted. The very last thing that I got from Simon's is this black flatware set and I'm excited. I mentioned earlier I'm trying to add more contrast to my shots um, so my products stand out and so there's a little bit more uh, variety and everything doesn't look like it was you know, taken in the exact same place with the exact same vibe to everything. So this has a little bit more of a sheen to it than I thought um, when I was first doing all this shopping. I thought it was more of a matte finish, which is just how online shopping goes, um, especially for things like this. But I can definitely make it work from a food photography perspective. I'll probably only use like a smaller um, spoon and fork here. So I don't know what it is. Well, I do know what it is. It just looks so much more aesthetically pleasing. You will almost never see like a little bowl of oatmeal with like a full size spoon and they just always look so um, like off balance. So almost all the time you'll actually be seeing like teaspoons or like mini flatware being used in the shoots. So I'm excited for this and then I'm still looking for like gold or bronze, uh, ideally matte but I'm not too picky about it, finished for a flatware set. So I've been looking for that. I don't want, this is great because there's no other flatware. It's literally just one of each item, which is good for photography, less so for obviously if you need to use them to eat. So I don't want to spend, you know, $50 on a full gold set. So I'm still trying to find a smaller one. I might just buy, I think you can buy just the teaspoons and I might do that. So let's move on to Indigo, which I shop online for um, like books and gifts, uh, but I normally only buy their home goods when I'm actually shopping in the store. So it was a new experience, but it did get here very quickly. Nothing broke, thank goodness. So I got, this is the very last mug that I got. Um, and it's this really, really interesting texture on the bottom of the matte finish. And then the top is the cream with like a black speckle, which contrasts really nice to this like brown, like khaki color. And then the handle is like a full circle. I will say this is bigger than I expect. So if you're imagining this like within the frame of a normal like style breakfast shot, say at like a 45, like it just takes up a lot of width. So I don't see it working for much for me, even from a flat lay, like it could work, but it's very, very like short and wide. So I'm not hundred percent sure if I can use it on the product photography side, but I can definitely use it in terms of lifestyle photography and it would look really cute um, just holding it. It would have to be a two hand thing. So it could definitely work for some shots, but is not quite what I had in mind. 
The next thing that I got from Indigo is this tiny little vase. It's this pretty like rust color. Um, it's a little bit darker than it's showing up on camera, but it is like this irregular, it's like an egg shape almost. Um, and it's really pretty. This is only $4 on sale. And I'm looking for some kind of like dried flowers or something to put inside on the smaller side because it's actually quite small compared to what I was expecting. But this will be great in so many different shops once I can find the like, dried flowers to put inside. The last thing that I got from Indigo was this little yoga mat and it's basically like a half of a rainbow in these pretty muted colors which is of course more on the lifestyle photography side and I'm really excited about it. It was $22 and I didn't know why it was less expensive than the other ones and it turns out it's because it's actually like a youth yoga mat. And I'm 5'3", and luckily like it still works for me for like all of the yoga poses uh, that I will possibly do on it. Okay, so the second last item is actually from the dollar store of all places, and I actually have a lot of props from there. You do really have to look uh, and, and be very um, meticulous with what you're sourcing, but it's these really cute um, black glasses. It's more of a gradient on the translucency side, and they actually photograph really nicely. I've already like started using these so I got these for I think like a dollar or dollar 25 each uh, and they were a really great find. Okay so the last place that I shopped at for this prop haul was the Real Canadian Superstore which of course is owned by Wobblas. I got these really pretty glasses there and they are like another translucent glass um, with like a blush tint to them and I'm really excited to use these. We actually, I swear we used to have them because I have a photo of me holding one with my product and I don't know where they went to um, and I don't know if I got it at the exact same store. But I'm happy that I got new ones uh, because those ones grew legs and walked away. So I got a couple more bowls as well from the Real Canadian Superstore and these are nice because they look like normal bowls but smaller uh, and it, that might not make sense but you know, how I was showing you the ramekin normally when you're going for smaller bowls for something like what I'm doing they are more cylindrical like they don't taper at the bottom um, because they're, more, they're actually a ramekin not a bowl so these are really nice because they um, have the right shape that I want for my photographs but they're not so large so I can actually do something that's a normal size serving and photograph that and then the proportions all look right. So I have this one, which has like this really pretty like dark um, green blue on the top, uh, and it has a speckled design as well. And this one just fades, and it's all, um, it looks like it's hand painted, it's probably not, uh, and it just fades from blue to cream. And both, I'm excited about, but both are plain on the inside, and the ring is white as well, so I probably wouldn't use them too often for flat lays, but for anything else, like a 45, they photograph really nicely. I've gotten these before, but I also get these like tiny little wooden spoons from there as well, but I'm pretty sure you can get them at the dollar store or almost anywhere. They're pretty easy to find, but these I really love, both the size of them and it's just another texture to bring in. Other than cutting boards and serving boards, I don't really include wood very often. Not that I don't want to, I just don't have many other pieces, so I love having little wooden spoons. Same with if I'm shooting a recipe, I like to have like bamboo utensils and things like that to include in the shot versus something that's like a stainless steel. I also got a couple of plates from the Superstore. None of my products actually would be served on a plate, but in terms of shooting recipes, uh, that would work really well. Or sometimes I like to style like a bowl on top of a plate if I'm doing a flat lay. Sometimes a 45, but usually if I'm doing a flat lay, I would do that. So I have this one, which matches my earlier ones, and it's the same, like a cream with a black speckle. It has a nice size lip to it as well, and I have started shooting with this, and I actually really like it. And then I have pretty much the exact same thing, but in this like darker navy blue. So this will be a first for me <laughs> in terms of branching out from all the white and neutrals that I usually use. So we'll see how this goes on the photography side, but I'm excited to start playing around with it. So the last item that I got from the Real Canadian Superstore is a mug, of course. I got way too many. I had none and now I have more than I could ever need. Uh, but it's this really nice like cream ivory color on the bottom and it fades up to this really nice blush. And it does the same on the inside. So the rim is colored and it fades inside as well. 
The very last thing that I want to share isn't something I just got for this haul, but it was already in my collection, but it's really hard to find, and it took me forever to find ones that I really like, and that is cookware. If you shoot recipes, of course you want your pots and pans in the shop, especially if you do recipe videos versus just the photos, and it can be hard to find ones that you know, aren't black and stainless steel. So I got this set actually from HomeSense, and I'm, I usually do a lot of prop shopping there, but in recent years, I just never find anything when I go that works great for me, especially from like plates, bowls, and glasses and things like that. So this is the little pot that I got, the first one. It is a warmer gray tone with white and black speckles, and then it has a really nice wooden handle. It does come with a little lid, but when I do recipe videos or photography, like I never use the lid, but it is a nice option and it obviously matches the handle. And this one is a lot more versatile because you can use it I obviously as a pot, but I also use it as like a saucepan. So it is this little guy. It has, um, I don't even know what this color is. It's some kind of like muted blue green. Uh, it reads a lot more blue on um, camera right now than it actually is, but it's really nice because this material obviously goes into the handles as well, so it's one solid color. I have a white stove, so I find this actually looks really nice. Like I said, I don't normally use this. The only thing is, um, obviously it conducts heat, so these handles get really hot. So I've almost burned my hands many times, not yet, but if you are looking for cookware that you can use for uh, recipe videos, or even if you take photos throughout your process when you're creating recipes, I would definitely look at HomeSense uh, when they reopen if you're in lockdown like I am right now, uh, because they typically have some really cute colored options. So that is it for my most recent prop shopping. I'm really excited to add all these items to my collection. Now that it's looking like for at least a few more months, I'm gonna have to keep taking my brand photos by myself at home alone. I might as well make this small investment in my props to really elevate our content and keep them from looking exactly the same. So if you want to see me use all of these, I've already shared one shoot with me for doing brand photos at home, and I will be doing another one with all these items so you can see how I style them and how I shoot them you know, during lockdown alone in my apartment. So definitely subscribe if you want to see that, and if the video was enjoyable or helpful, maybe gave you some new ideas for props or where to get them, I hope you'll give the video a thumbs up, and I will catch you in the next one.